All right, let's talk about this start over here. Um, I, I like it. I like it. Uh, no luxuries at a glance. Except probably in the fog of war. I don't know if the game ever starts you without any luxuries whatsoever. So I'm assuming we've got something in the fog. Um, and I don't think there are any luxuries that you don't know about at the start of the game. I don't think any techs unlock luxuries, right? By, by the way, one of my favorite things in this patch is the little icons here to show you that these techs unlock various harvestings and things like that. I have no idea why that wasn't in there at release. But thank you very much. That is that is quite a nice little upgrade there. Um, yeah, this... Well, campus location here. Here, unfortunately, we got the cattle. So it'd be nice to go campus plus holy site or something like that, uh, but still a decent campus location. Also, I believe that's going to be some desert over there, so get ready with the Petra emoticons. We're going to see how that goes. Let's go and take a look. we got some couple of tips that came in. I heard a tip explosion. Who is that? It's Java Jawa! It says, my last tip of the month was great watching you on the... Uh, oh, the last, the last 16 on Saturday. Yeah, the top 16 at the tournament. Well, thank you very much, Java Jawa! I do like saying your name, by the way. Skybreaker 2, thank you. I hope Ganya is in. He's enough for more Morgamonger once he gets his nukes. I considered it. I, I couldn't decide if I should include Gandhi or not, and I left him out. Mostly because we've seen Gandhi in almost every game we've played, and I thought it would be nice to get a little bit more variety. Petra, 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 Petra. What are Cyrus's special? So we haven't looked at that yet, and that is an excellent question. So Persia, Persia's unique ability is Satrapis. Which is, they get plus one trade route capacity when you unlock a certain civic, which is quite early. And, um, internal trade routes get plus two gold, plus one culture. Very good. And our roads are better. I love internal trade routes, so this is going to make me extremely happy. Very, very, very happy. We also have the Immortal Unit, which is a replacement for the Swordman. It has reduced melee strength. It is worth noting that in this patch, the Swordsman melee strength has been nerfed. Um, did it go from 40 to 36? I don't remember. So I feel it's something like that. Anyway, normal swordsmen are now 36. Our swordsmen are 30, but they have a ranged attack of 25. Remind me, what is the archer range attack strength? 25. Okay, so the immortal is just as good as ranged attacks as an archer, but they're tougher in melee, which means they can stand up to a little bit more punishment, or considerably more punishment, because they have twice the melee strength. Um, so the Immortals are going to be really, really nice to have. Um, the other thing that Persia gets, specifically, is the the Paradise. This is Our word Paradise comes from this thing, Peridaza. It's, it's a builder improvement that they can plop down. Um, it's always worth plus one culture and plus two gold, but it also get and plus two appeal, but it also gets bonus culture if it's adjacent to holy sites and theaters. It also gets plus gold if it's next to commercial hubs or your own city center. It gets additional culture and tourism as you advance through the technology and civics tree. Can't be built adjacent to another one of the Parasites here. So, lots of gold, lots of culture. We also get more gold and culture from our trade routes, which is kind of interesting, because cultures, uh, culture production is actually one of the things I tend to fall behind a little bit more, especially compared to the AI, partially because the AI can unlock the theater district so much sooner with their four free civics, for example. Um, so that's, I think, going to be real good for me. Now, let's talk about Cyrus itself. His bonus is Fall of Babylon, which is mind-blowingly good. Plus two movement for the first ten turns after declaring a surprise war. Also, we get full yields in occupied cities, and declaring surprise war only counts as formal war for the purpose of warmongering and war wariness. Also, uh, warmongering penalties are reduced in a few cases in this patch as well, which is quite cool. Not that I've ever cared about warmonger penalty, but maybe now I can. I mostly didn't care about it because it was going to go infinite no matter what I would do. This is very potent, especially since this patch made a change to siege units. Used to be siege units could not move and fire. Now, siege units can move and fire as long as they still have at least two moves left. So if you have some way to make sure your siege unit still has two movement points left after moving, for example, being near a great general that gives them plus one movement, or with Cyrus's ability here, then you can move and fire with siege units, which is really good. Makes them much, much more valuable. Doesn't help on defense, but helps to plan those wars, which is really good. So I think we're going to get started. But yes, this start, I think I agree. Someone earlier said we should probably move to this hill over here. The advantage of doing this is our city square tile itself will have plus one production. Because the default city tile is what? Two food, two, or two food, one production, one gold, maybe? Something like that that you get for free? I'm, I'm 
not really remembering, and plus maybe I get confused with Civ Five. But the upshot is, if the tile you settle on happens to have a higher base production in one of the things, you'll get that value from it. I think i got to put my hat on, because my hair is going a little frou-frou here. Boom! Because I washed it today, but I didn't put any product in, so it tends to just get like really light and all over the place. So if we go here, we should start with plus one production as a base. Hopefully. Yeah, no amenities is interesting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with a warrior here, and I'm going to move it, I think, to the hill. So we can spot what's on the other side here in case it informs our decision. Alright. Still no luxuries. I don't think the desert tile... Like, if we're here, technically we could work the desert tile. Like, the oasis tile, rather, but... I guess we'd still be able to work it from here. Yeah, we'll still be able to work both from here, so... It seems to me like it's fine. Here comes a chant for the Petra. Ah, here's our amenity. We've got some marble over here. Isn't that marvelous? And... Desert Hills. Thing is, on Deity, it's impossible to get wonders early. Because the AI starts with so many free techs and an 80% production bonus and a huge boost to science. But God, if there was ever, like... We should just play one city. Not build any settlers. Screw settlers. There's going to be enough war. We'll, we'll expand through war. Honestly, this is a pretty good city. We could do something like that. With the double freaking um, wheat over here? Dang. And holy crap. What a great campus spot over here. I mean, we're going to have it regardless, but wow. Okay, so we're going to settle here. So you can see our center tile has the two production here. Uh, we are going to rename our city from our subscriber list, which I have opened, but I need to randomize to... Boom. Our capital city is going to be the wonderful, historical, epic city of Kalgu. Actually, Kalgu kind of sounds like it could be some ancient name in some, like, lost language. Just build Petra, you don't need settlers. <laughs> oh, one city challenge? Maybe, I mean, it might be the no settler challenge. We'll probably end up with cities after the war happens. Well, we got a big tip in from Nerf Rot. Thank you so much. Must do for the crazy barbarian action. Jadwiga's legacy scenario. I'd pay good money to see that. Yeah, a couple of people have asked me to do Jadwiga's um, scenario. And I haven't done any of the scenarios in Civ. So we'll definitely have to look into that at some point. Uh, thank you for the reminder and thank you very much for the tip. All right. We're going to do the standard start here. We're going to start with Scout. We've got to find out where our neighbors are. We've got to find some goodie hits. They're going to go very pretty fast on this map. Um, almost certainly we'll follow that up with a Slinger uh, to hopefully get our boost towards Archer. Um, and then we'll decide where to go from there. The only downside to this move is instead of starting next to two tiles that are really, really potent, a three food tile and a two food, two production tile, we have moved away. We've actually moved into a food poor area over here. So our early game growth is going to be a little bit worsened, but our early game production is going to be dramatically improved. Um, it is interesting though, by working the marble, which is, it's not clear, we could work the woods here. We could work the woods for an extra production, but by working this, we can get the culture and hopefully grow our borders slightly quicker. Um, where's our border growth timer? Might not have come up because it's the first turn. Oh, seven. Seven turns over here. So if I were to go and move you, 12 turns. Yeah, I think it's worth doing this to get the border growth in seven turns. Hopefully it'll pick up either the cattle or the horses. Um, and if we can get... I mean, and then that becomes a good tile to work in general. And if we get uh, animal husbandry early, we can go and improve that. So I think that's going to be okay. No scout, slinger only. That's an interesting idea too. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the scout. Goody Hut's, go Goody Hut's good. Um, if we can um, discover another continent early, right? That's also quite good. Um, right? For the boost of foreign trade, discover the other continent. Uh, if we can find um, a world wonder, a natural wonder, I should say, that's going to be all right. I think I'm going to go west and then maybe circle around the mountains here. I don't want to go too far with the warrior because of barbarians. Oh, we already found another continent! Ha! Nuna... Nuna... Is it over here? Nuna... What's our continent? Oh! 
Kazakhstania. Okay. I don't think he gave us a pop-up until we settled the city. I think we'd already found the other continent, but it didn't give us credit until we had our city in place, which I guess is fair. So another question is, where do you go first? And I think... I think we go animal husbandry first, because I think we need pastures, and it gets us towards archery faster, and I think that's going to be really important. We did name the city. The city's named Kalgu. What is that? Silk. Sheeps. Okay. Next turn. Check to left of city and one southwest of city for amazing camps location. Yeah, I know. I know, crazy. So, we already know the mountains. So if I go here, I might see a little more. I don't think it made much of a difference. Um, I think that's the coast there. It does look like there's flat terrain over here, so I think I can skirt around the mountains. That's going to be very interesting from a defensive point of view. Also, this choke point up here. If there's anyone to the northwest, we can definitely choke them out there and, like, be able to, to hold out quite long. Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh is who we find first. So Gilgamesh has got like crazy chariots, doesn't he? I think so. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, uh, sorry. I was supposed to be doing Pangea. My bad, um, Essentia. That was my mistake. Yeah, this is a, this is a Pangea map. Or it should be. I'll, I'll double check it here. Uh, it's an honor to meet you. We'd love to sample your hospitality. We got a boost over there. Wow, we are close by. Um, does it not tell you the continent, the, the map type over here? I'm pretty sure I went Pangea because I wanted all the action. So, so here's his capital. He hasn't moved his... Uh, remember, he starts with two settlers for free. Um, oh, crap. That's a shame. So, I mean, I'm going to lose that no matter what. So I don't think there's any point in... In moving there. Oh, it's not the coast, it's a river. Well, let's go up here so we can spot some of the territory. So he's not settling towards me, at least, which is good-ish. I mean, if we're not looking to settle quickly, I guess it doesn't matter too much. So yeah, he'll get the goody hut. Boo! GGMesh. <laughs> Uh, appropriate for Samaria to be spatially close to Persia? I suppose that's true. Alright, a border growth in four turns. Oh, it's gonna grow down there. Which is fine! Growing towards the, the wheat would also be good. Um, I mean, the horse tile is best if not improved. We do start with the ability to farm, though, so that'll be okay. It'll give us a boost towards irrigation as well. Although, I don't think we need irrigation early on. So, we'll see. So, yeah, I'm gonna scooch around here. There's another goody hut, but I... If this... I'm not gonna get it! What the hell? Oh! Oh, there was a barbarian! Uh, as much as I like to kill the scout, this is the priority. Oh, we got XP. An empty barbarian encampment. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, barbarians do spawn early. We, we need to get the warrior back to our territory here. I don't think I have any need to fight this scout. And I can't, actually, right now, so... I'm just gonna move this way, back towards home. Alright, we're one turn from the scout. Oh, it did border growth over here. It wasn't showing us the pop-up properly. Okay. Um, I would like you to work this tile. Please. I know the culture is quite good, but do this for the slightly faster growth and still decent production. We'll get the scout in one turn. Send him eastwards. That will... Uh, be the river of blood soon. <laughs> it could be. It could be. With, um, with Sumerian blood. Where do I want to go? I think I'm going to go here, and then we'll cross the river next turn. Again, I, I want to get closer to my t my home, because barbarians could be spawning. I mean, there's no there's no um, improvement to start pillaging yet, but it would be kind of annoying. So, if my, my warrior is going to come kind of to the south over here, I think the thing to do is to go east or north or some combination thereof with the scout. Let's go directly east. Uh, we're not going to be able to see through the trees, so let's go up here. Not going to show us that much more, but that's fine. I can feel the Gilgamesh War will be here soon. Yeah, very likely, but we have the uh, Slinger. Hello, Candy! Um, what is, uh, what is your quest? Recruit a great general. Well, you know what? That's definitely going to happen at some point, because there's just going to be enough warfare for that. I guarantee. 
Um, I'm going to go here for a little bit more vision. I'm going to... I guess we'll check up on this hill. And come down here. Wow. Some great little city spots. But yeah, do we rush... Um, I was going to say currency, but that's the, the old thing. Do we rush mathematics for the Petra? And if so, do we just instantly lose the game? But make Twitch chat happy. Oh yeah, I can't do that because of that. Well, alright. Hmm. 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 So he's going to see my city, but he's never going to be able to come back to warn his buddies. I'm kind of tempted to scooch down here with my scout. But no, I think we're going to go... Ooh. Fishy, fishy. There's a goodie hut. Am I actually... Oh, I did get the one. Right, I got XP. Do I have a level up waiting for me over here? No. Oh, just shy. So it's 20 XP, but you need 22. All right. Petra, Petra. What the? Ah! Barbarian spawned behind me. Okay, well, I have to go for the goodie hut. We got a boost towards masonry, which is nice, because that's one of the unboostables, right? No, over here. So I would have gotten the boost anyway from building a quarry, so it might not have been the most useful, but it's fine. We definitely have to keep moving this way because of that thing. Luckily, we do have the slinger, and again, we're really looking to hopefully get a kill with the slinger. I think we're going to plan on is... I mean, I'm planning the warrior plus slinger can take out this camp, so that's going to be okay. But I could bring the, uh, the scout back to help. Oh, we didn't crash! We were stalled for a long time there. I was getting really scared. Now it is a new patch and I'm still running my UI mod and things could break in a really weird way. We'll see. We'll see. Three turns to the slinger, one sling to grow, or one turn to grow. Fifteen turns to the next tile expansion. Crash dodged, yeah, for now. I've been getting that lag too. Can you diggle it? Do you, are you running the CQ UI mod or vanilla? Heaven, then when I oh. die, I want to go where they went. I need to remember to turn on the visual pop-up for this. Um, yes. Yeah, so we could half research archery. We could work our way up to pottery because we do have the ability. We've got the boost towards riding already, which is nice. And we've got an amazing campus location um, right here. All right, that'll be adjacent to two mountains. Or three mountains, I meant, I meant to say. You got this bit over here. One, two, three. Technically, we'd, we'd have to go and reveal the Fog of War and hope there's no mountain there. But technically, we could put a campus spot in here. Um, the problem is, it would take forever for our borders to grow in that direction, or be incredibly expensive to buy. Hmm. I think what I have to do for a survival basis is half-research archery. Yeah. If we built a builder right now, they'd have plenty to do, so it's not like I need to worry about the mines the same way. Hey, another goodie hut. Alright, pop two. Yeah, I'm fine. We could get more production by working this tile, but I think having the culture is actually going to be good. If I unlock you, you do that. It's so weird how the city does not prioritize food. I mean, I can just do this, I suppose. The food's better than the plus one production there, game. Come on. Yeah, that's the spot you were talking about right over there, yeah. Thing is, this is still good, and we have it now. Oh, God. Another barbarian encampment. That, the thing is, there's going to be a shite ton of barbarians down here. Because there's no other civilization. We are going to have to expand in there just to not die. Hey, the Book of Toth. We got ourselves a relic very early on for bonus faith. The tourism. The faith is going to be nice to get our pantheon early. Doesn't help us to get a, um, a religion, but... 
but that's okay. All right, Slinger coming in now. We might be able to work it. If this guy moves forward, we might be able to get the king with the kill with the Slinger. Mm, no, the Slinger can't do enough damage. Okay, change policies. We are definitely going to take Discipline. We're going to need that like crazy. I don't think we need God King. Normally, I would take it to get the Pantheon, but we've got plenty of faith production at this point. So I will just take Urban Planning for the production, and I think that's going to be okay. Although the gold's also nice, but there we are. Now, um, and choose our next Civic. Well, we'll do Foreign Trade. Unlocks a trade route, which is nice, plus uh, we've already got the boost for it, so we may as well go ahead and do that. Um, at this juncture, I would really like to get a builder so that we can improve the horses and the um, uh, the wheat over here. The timing's going to work out relatively well. Um, if we get declared on, I might have to build more military units, but there's only Gilgamesh, and we're not that close, so I think we're going to be okay. So I'm going to move you here. Now, we'll bombard you, which isn't going to kill you, but I don't think there's a way for you to escape. Uh, no, you're... Mm, I guess you could move away this way. Or there, if I wasn't there. But if the scout moves, say, here, then he can still make it over there. Ah, he, I think he can get away. Which is too bad, because you do need to murderize these scouts. Uh-oh! It's a killer Cyrus! And I'm Cyrus! Well, I just realized we got a couple of tips in. We got Skybreaker sent in tips. In. So, playing like the Doge from Civ 5. Oh, yeah, one city. Maybe. It could happen. Could happen. And uh, Minigera says, Have some bourbon on me. Always enjoy your streams and watch nearly all your yub tubs. Need more Tropical and Rimworld. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's really nice. Uh, let's exchange capital information. Okay, she's pretty far away, which makes me happy. Um, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, the drunk advisor is calling farming w the wheat for whiskey. <laughs> Quill surrounded by warmongering sims. I, I did it intentionally. I, I set... Everyone in this game is pretty warmongery. Pretty warmongery. Uh, Tarj is probably less. Oh, he did stay somewhere I can kill him. Bam! Give me that boost! Tarja's probably less, but he's still Roman, so... Alright, we got a boost towards archery, which is fantastic. Now, the thing is, I don't actually have to finish archery. As long as it's close, so I can use it as an emergency, but I, I think... I don't know. I think I might have to. And the thing is, if I do finish archery, I can upgrade the slinger, like, right away. And we can use that to go and clear out these encampments. I think that's fine. I don't think I have to rush the other things. I think we will finish archery. And then what we'll probably do is work our way up to writing. Is there... Well, if we grab mining, then we could quarry. Which ain't bad, since we keep working that tile. I mean, we're going to need a second builder anyway. It will also be the amenities. Hmm... Well, let's finish archery and then decide where we're going from there. Uh, I'm going to let the Scythian scout stay in the way. We're going to move back over this way. That's going to be fine. You're going to come down here. Next turn. <laughs> Corey will finish the tech. No, it won't. Um, because it's already been boosted. I know, you, like... I think the first game of Civ 6 I played, like pre-release, I was like, oh, if you get the boost from a goody hut, and then you get the boost from building a quarry, it'll finish this tech. No, no, it doesn't work that way. You got, I got the boost from the goody hut, as opposed to building it from the quarry, so they don't, they don't stack. It's just, you just boosted the one time. Okay, we're going to keep trying to pin this guy and see if we can't hit him. Um, there's no reason for me to keep my slinger here right now. I can go and maybe help take care of this scout, and then send him back to the city for the upgrade. Um, I could get some experience on my scout by just fighting here. And I think I will. There you go. If we can get a level up on the scout, that would be very nice. Will you lose and surrender to Scythia to be historically correct? I could. I guess, or Scythia, I think, is how a lot of people pronounce it. There's our Pantheon. Now, what do we choose? If we want to build a crazy holy site, we could, because we do have the desert.
Needs marshes. How are we doing on marsh? Oasis. We do have two oases within range of the city, but they're very far away. No marshes, no floodplains here. I don't think that's the way to go. 